Of course I'm coming to do these interviews and I have to tell you a lot of people in my office are like, Henry is so beautiful, I just want to stare at him. Was there any element of that on set? <laughs> <laughs> Um, no, most of, I only, oh yeah, every so time funny. we saw Henry, we were like, you are gorgeous. <laughs> yeah. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we will be looking at celebrities thirsting over Henry Cavill. We will also be sharing some interesting facts about his career. Let's get started. Um, no, every time I saw Henry, he was in a white wig and... Yeah. I, I, it was, it actually we went for a meal like when he was, when he was a girl and I couldn't, I, I was shocked at what he looked like because <laughs> I'd only ever seen him as Daryl, like literally, yes. Henry Cavill's dream role was to play the character Alexander the Great. Do you think he would suit this role? After Henry Cavill starred as Superman in Man of Steel, it's hard to imagine any other actor playing the role. However, he actually lost the original role he auditioned for to actor Brandon Ruth. Ruth was cast in Superman Flyby. While Brandon Ruth wanted to continue as Superman, he then ended up losing out to Henry for Man of Steel. Can I just say it? Henry Cavill can destroy me, like legit. He can Superman this hoe. That's very kind of you. I appreciate your vigor, but um, don't hurt yourself. Be careful out there. Now listen, I know I'm paid to chat, but I think it's fair if I just put the cards down and we all just stare at Henry for a while. <laughs> Rugby is his favorite sport, but he no longer plays due to injuries. We're glad that he quit so he could bring us some amazing movies. According to Henry Cavill, he would have joined the armed forces to satiate his patriotic emotion if he hadn't taken up acting. I have no a way business. of touching. I couldn't, I always had my hands on his chest. Even like we weren't doing a scene, I'd be like, ha 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 ha. Shameless, same relation. I remember walking in and he was doing his and I was trying to avoid him because I was kind of, you know, obviously like, anxious to meet the lead um, guy, but he was so nice right from the get-go. Henry Cavill has had to develop an American accent for the majority of his roles as he is originally from England. It might not seem like it, but he often struggles with it. He admitted in an interview that he still has days where he has to have a voice coach correct him while filming. Henry is very close to actor Jason Momoa. He has said on multiple occasions that he is a fan of Aquaman. Some co-stars, and so we're going to show you just a, a body part, and you're going to tell us who it is. Okay, okay. All right, let's, let's see, see the first do. one. <laughs> Henry? <laughs> <laughs> well, you do have a crush on Henry. Anybody? No, no, no. What about you, Anya? The first time was I—I I wasn't actually working with him. I just saw him walking to his trailer. And I'm not gonna, I was quite, I think I was quite afraid. I was like, you he also so ran good. away. He got so, he looked so good. So, yes. Henry is also quite the runner. He loves to support fundraisers, so he often runs road races for charity. Here, he's participating in the Durrell Challenge, a 13K road race to help support endangered wildlife. He took an interest in ancient history, especially Egyptology, Greek, in ancient Rome. Uh, I realized as I was writing, I continued to have Henry's voice in my head. Um, and that's kind of an undeniable sign that, that it was meant for him. I often have his voice in my head. Different. To Different events. Images, Different. images, and his voice. Sorry, I do. Go on, sorry, Lord. <laughs> Not that way. It is a, a epic movie, and I'm sure the fans will be absolutely wetting and their And cinemas from everywhere for Friday. Yeah, just stunning. Thanks, Thank you guys. very much. Bye-bye. The epic movie Gladiator, featuring Russell Crowe, is one of his all-time favorite movies. In the movie Man of Steel, he plays the role of Jor-El's Russell Crowe's son. Russell Crowe also happens to be Cavill's favorite actor. Henry has a flair for languages. He's known to be fluent in French and has good conversational skills in Italian, German, and Czech. Henry's interest in the acting line stemmed from a young age with the school play renditions of Shakespeare's A Midnight Summer and his character Sonny Lattieri in Greece. Russell, even you must look at Henry and kind of go, you know what, you could. I mean, it's just, you could. Well, I stare at Henry and go, you little bastard. <laughs> <laughs> you and your tall frame and your body fat ratio. <laughs> That's what I do. It must have been so challenging having to work with Henry it's every awful. day. It's just so awful. It's just too bad about his face, right? Yeah. <laughs> Such a nice guy, and then, you know. I kind of feel bad, because in all of the press, 
it's like obvious, so people are constantly asking the question, and then I'm like, Henry's gonna take out a restraining order on me if I <laughs> keep talking about how cute he is and like giggling in his presence. But I challenge anyone to stare in his eyes for five seconds and not giggle, so. He was discovered by casting directors who were in search of a young boy to play the character of Albert Mondego in The Count of Monte Cristo, 2002. The rest is history. Henry Cavill is also trained in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, so he knows how to defend himself. Being a longtime gamer, Cavill posted a video on YouTube of him constructing a new gaming PC by himself in 2020, which got over 2 million views. Who would have guessed that Superman was a gamer? I would let Henry Cavill split me in half. I'm just gonna say it. Thanks for saying it. It does, it does help, certainly, to have that little bit of stigma in the back of your head, um, that you're never quite good enough, uh, so you keep on working harder, but it's not necessarily healthy. But now you're you're definitely healthy. I think that's one, one word we could use, right? Um <laughs> His first trip to the United States was to attend the premiere of The Count of Monte Cristo in 2002. Henry followed a strict workout regimen for his role of Clark Kent in Superman in Man of Steel. He consumed 5,000 calories every day for six months for this role and also dyed his hair jet black. For his role in Man of Steel, he did not watch any previous Superman movies but used solely the comics for reference. Henry Cavill wears a signet ring featuring his family coat of arms on the small finger of his left hand. Henry Cavill definitely exudes big dick energy. And to make it even better, I'm 99% sure he's actually big. I'm weak just thinking about it. Thank you. Why the 1%? I ask. And furthermore, no comment. And I'm sorry about England losing. I, yeah. I feel bad. I don't know. Like, well, I deal. Should we just give but... you a hug? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Oh, next time, guys. next time. <laughs> Henry Cavill's fans have been called the Cavalry. He was first considered for the role of James Bond in Casino Royale. And he was quite young for the role. He was outvoted by the directors and the role was passed on to Daniel Craig. Do you think that Henry could have made a good 007? Henry has a pet American Akita dog named Cal, who is named after his role in Superman. He bought the dog in 2014 from Big Bear Akita breeders in Arkansas in the United States. Fans have nicknamed Cal as Super Puppy. Uh, what surprised you the most about working with Ben Affleck? Like, and what was your favorite scene with him out of the entire process? Ben's a very large man. Yes, that surprised he is, me the most. Isn't he? I, I was, I you was are surprised. a very large man. Uh, thank, th thank you very much. In a good way. In a yes. good way. <laughs> thank you very much as well. Coming yes. out all yeah. wrong. I was going to say, sort of steady on. Um, <sighs> uh, Henry Cavill is a huge fan of comic books, although he did not get to read at much of them growing up due to his boarding school. For his role in Immortals, he achieved a body fat of 10% and went further to achieve a total body fat of 8% for his role in Man of Steel, which is equivalent to what some bodybuilders reach during competitions. And that wraps up our video. Make sure to subscribe to the channel for more binge-worthy videos like this.